Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mitchell Blake with Fish IBX and today I wanted to bring a great episode on suspending twitch baits, specifically targeting trout. Uh, this is a fishery that's, uh, that's very sought after in our region throughout the inner banks and I have seen a, a tremendous amount of anglers that have a, a love-hate relationship and whenever I was trying to learn how to trout fish to actually put customers on a uh, suspended twitch bait bite, specifically a mirror lure bite, um, I was able to see where I needed to tweak, where I needed to coach as a guide, and what I was seeing people do. And there's a couple of areas um, that I want to touch on. Uh, first off, the rod application that's used on suspended twitch baits, especially a mirror lure. It's an extremely common trout bait around here. Um, and anglers versus rods. Uh, whenever I first picked up a rod and reel combo, tied on a mirror lure, and started chasing trout, uh, I was working it similar to some of the baits that I was striper fishing with otherwise. Uh, and, you know, I was asking trout, you know, serious trout anglers, uh, you know, different scenarios uh, you know why do you choose a rod that you do and uh, applying it over to my own fishing and and just time on the water i was able to see that uh, rods are extremely important on using these baits and um, and what i'm saying is with a suspended twitch bait what you a lot of times what you want to lure to do is a slash two or three times and stop dead and what I was finding is there are a lot of people using rods that actually overpower a lure when they, when they give it the twitch or snatch or pause. If you have the wrong action rod, it will actually make that lure almost, uh, it almost worked the lure too hard or too fast. Um, and trout oftentimes look away from it. Uh, so, one of the key elements, if you're tying on a mirror lure, if you're watching this video trying to figure out, you know, hey, how can I become a, uh, a better uh, mirror lure uh, angler for trout, or I don't have success with that lure, I, that's one of the key things that I see. And especially when I have a, a, a group that gets on the boat for the first time, uh, hey, let's go trout fishing. They've been nailing mirror lures. And let's just say I have three people on board, and I had on three different type rods and I can sit there and watch an angler at how they're working the rod a lot of times and I'll pull a rod off the, off the rack and say, hey, or off the boat and say, hey, you need to use this rod. Otherwise, the style, that, that, the way that person is fishing, they're overpowering the bait. Um, I may give them a, a lot lighter tip, lot, lot action rod. So with that said, I guess the take home message on the rod situation is if you are a trout fisherman and not having luck with this lure, and the rumor is, hey, they were killing them on the mirror lure, um, lighten up the rod. Uh, I find that most of the time I can go to a, 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 you know, even if with a fast action rod, I can go to a lighter tip. You know, I tell the customer, hey, when you make that twitch, you know, make it a sharp twitch and stop. Almost give the rod back to the lure. Uh, the lure won't cover a lot of ground, otherwise you're not pulling it past the fish. You're actually making the lure almost make a slash, a dart, and a turn, and stop it dead. Now, from my experience of being a guide and time on the water, I have seen these lures work magic. Uh, I have caught a tremendous amount of trout on them after I learned how to use them. Um, but I'll tell you one of the key things that you'll see straight out of, I just pulled this lure straight out of the box, and you'll see here, it does not come with a feather on the back. It comes just like this. Uh, a lot of anglers, a lot of, a lot of tackle shops you'll see uh, sell either individual feathered hooks at the shelf. Um, you'll hear a lot of anglers talk about you know feathers. Sometimes you'll see them in packages even. Uh, what I can tell you about adding a feather on to a suspended twitch bait, especially the mirror lure, is what I've experienced. And what I'm, I'm talking about, you know, what I've experienced over the past few years on the water. Uh, this past fall, I had an angler that was fishing 
a straight out of the box mirror lure, no feather. I had an angler that was fishing with a feather and they were asking me, um, you know, hey, what, what's, what's the difference? So I'm gonna dissect that a little bit of it, the experiences I've had with it, what I've learned from it. Uh, last fall in particular, we had a really good bite that was happening on the mirror lure. Uh, we had customers that were, that were throwing them and I was adding some with a feather, some without. And I wasn't getting a chance to fish. I had guys across the deck fishing, but I was up top um, on the tower looking down. Uh, this was a fall pattern. The water was gin clear. I mean, you could see five or six feet down. And we were in an area that had a lot of trout. Customers were working the bait, twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. And in doing so, I was looking down on the lure. I could kind of see how it was acting. And there were several occasions that I would see a fish come up and make a short strike on the bait. The customer would feel it because he would give it a little snatch, but the hookup ratio wasn't, wasn't there. Um, and I watched this time and time again, and the gentleman with the hook, with the feathered hook attached on the bait was actually catching more fish. So in my mind, I was trying to figure out, hey, well, you know, what exactly is the difference? Do you actually need to add a feather? Do you actually need to add that two or three dollar item? Uh, hey, what you know, what's what's causing that situation? And what I was finding with is with that feather, those short strikes were becoming hookups. In other words, when the angler was fishing that bait, what I could see the major difference was is when he made that bait slash, that back hook with the feather would, would just stand out for a moment and it would slowly fall down versus just a regular hook. When you slash it, the hook would fall immediately. Um, that little delay from, from the feathers, I guess the resistance in the water, and it slowly falling down, was allowing those fish that were short striking to actual get stuck right in the corner of the mouth. And I was noticing that because the fish weren't, they weren't eating the bait. It, they weren't getting hooked by both hooks. It was simply a feathered hook stuck in the corner of the mouth. And that told me, you know, the difference in between those fish, how they were feeding. Otherwise, it, if you're on a bite that, uh, that's not an extremely aggressive bite and you're fishing a bait getting short strikes, then you may want to add that feather application, it will make a difference. You will see those fish starting to get hooked in the corner of the mouth. Uh, now, with a spotted sea trout, uh, what we, several situations, what we're having to do is, you know, lighten that rod up a little bit, um, lighten that drag up a little bit, and when you make that slash slash pause, that lure darts to the side, it comes still, you have that delay and the fish would get stuck right in the corner of the mouth. And with that little bit lighter drag, the anglers weren't tearing the hook from the fish. So this application with the feather works on any kind of any kind of suspended twitch bait, even, even the Yozuri. This is a very popular bait. Uh, this is a bait that I truly love. Uh, a lot of customers that aren't keen on the, on the action of the uh, suspended twitch bait by mirror lure, a lot of times I'll switch them over to that Yozuri because it just makes a little dart to the side. But anyways, wanted to give you guys uh, those couple of tips. And as you see here, I keep a box full of feathers tied in, uh, you know, in some of the popular colors. Otherwise, chartreuse and white bait, I may, you know, I may match it up with a, with the exact, with the exact match, um, you're talking about a Mardi Gras color, purple back, chartreuse belly. I may match it up where that feather runs the exact same color as the lure. And as you can see here, I've got a, I've got a lot of different color scenarios, uh, and I've got some some situations where the feathers are a little bit larger to make that hook really stand out in a delay fall whenever it's uh, when it suspends and it's sitting there. Some people may say, hey, you know, uh, is it the delay or is it just add a little extra flash or what have you? 
Um, teach his own, but I know there's, I have seen firsthand scenarios where, uh, you know, that feather, feather application makes that delay in fall. Now, trout are funny, funny animals. Any, any, any good trout fisherman would say, hey, you know, I caught, a, I caught 50 on this bait yesterday. Go back to the same spot the next day, and you may have to change colors a little bit. I have seen guys using a feather, using a bait, two guys using the exact same thing, and one guy may have a red hook versus a silver hook versus a black hook. Now, uh, that's when it starts to get a little bit nitpicky, but uh, that's when you're talking about, you know, that's just the trout in his nature. Sometimes they can be extremely picky. So uh, switch these things out. You can pick up a set of O-ring pliers is what I call them. And it simply, it'll open up that O-ring for you and you can slide the hook off. Stop by your local tackle shop or if you have a fly tying device, you can simply tie these up on your, on your off days. If the weather's bad, tie you up different color scenarios, some of your favorite stuff, and attach that on the back of your mirror lure or suspend and twitch baits. Top water plugs, it makes a huge difference. Um, but I hope this helps you guys out. I hope it gives you a chance to catch a few more fish and uh, stay tuned for some more tips and tactics coming from Fish IBX.